Denmark's capital, Copenhagen, sets the scene for a fifth time hosting the World Championships. And our order of play moves now to another mixed doubles with the number 14 seeds from Malaysia, Chen Tangji and To Yi Wei, who are taking on the emphatic, the incredible number two seeds from Japan, Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino. So the number two seeds will take a look at the very bottom of this mixed doubles draw with four seeded pairs left in the event. Well, five actually, sorry, as uh, Zhang Siwei and Huang Yachong are already through. Xiao Xin Jie and Che Yu Jung through earlier. The number fifth seeds, they will be the semi final opponents for whoever comes through this match. On paper, Watanabe and Higashino all away. But who knows? We'll see that unfold in a few moments. Two of the most exciting players to watch in mixed doubles for me. And two of the best haircuts in the game. Oh, without doubt. I, I mean, love it. Every time these two come on, I, I said he must have been some sort of former male model or something. He's uh, <laughs> too good looking to be a, a badminton player. And his <laughs> opponent, uh, opponent is a partner, Zoe Wei. The way she dives around the court, how creative she is. Just you can't take your eyes off it. Absolutely. And what about this man? He's phenomenal, isn't he? Incredible. The control that he has, the explosion that he has. He's so fast. And at, actually, as does Higashino, she's one of the most, most athletic and physical mixed doubles ladies, I would say, on the, on the tour. Uh, can you name any female player that um, gets up higher off the floor from the rear court? Yeah, has two foot jump smash cross court winner to man. Yeah. Yeah, incredible. Unreal. Yeah, and to have that dynamic in a partnership and to have that ability to have the confidence with I mean you see it so much more now because the game has is advancing all the time but to have that confidence of having the the woman at the back and and just knowing that she can hold her own is such a strength to have but it's becoming a way more regular feature in in mixed doubles partnerships in fact it's a, a real standout weakness if you can't <laughs> if you can't yes. yeah well, just 1-0 reached the head-to-head, -head, so only their second meeting. That was okay, the uh, semi-final of the Singapore Open a few months back. And black. Red. Black. Who will receive? Arisa will receive. Well, again, no choice of ends. You want the right side? Who will serve? Talk will serve to Arisa. Okay. The Malaysians, it seems, get the opportunity to choose the receiver, but also to pick an end and they're very quick to decide which end so I think had they won the toss they may they may have gone ends first well we've got a couple of minutes let's tell you a little bit more about our quarter finalists here in the uh, mixed doubles Cheng Tanji from Ipo in Malaysia they're 17 in the world so they've done hugely well to get through to this quarter-final. They got the bronze in the 2016 World Juniors together, these two. A couple of World Tour titles. More recently, they uh, actually reformed as a partnership just at the back end of last year. They took the Orléans Masters and the uh, Taipei Open, both Super 300s earlier this year and as a seed they managed to get a bye in the first round it was all about that uh, round three match though against Tom Chiquel and Delphine Del Rue, the number seven seeds from France and it could have gone either way in the second they held on and they were emphatic in that deciding game yesterday well the former world number one pair of Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino Oh, what more is there to say about these two? Everyone knows these two. They are at the very top of the game for years now. And uh, one of the most dynamic and explosive pairs to watch. 
Could be their year here, Kirsty. Or do you think Zhang and Huang are uh, two uh, stronger mixed doubles opponents? Should uh, they both reach the final? I think the amount of power that Watanabe and Higashino have packed into their relatively small statures is incredible. And they'll have they have the experience, but the the power and the speed of this younger Malaysian pair is uh, is quite quite a sight. So again, it'll be similar to what we saw in the last match. Can they use that raw power and that speed, but maintain that control? Because being that fast and that energetic does lead to errors. Yeah, trying to take that shuttle so much earlier, or as early as you possibly can. Yeah. When it's fast and flat at you, it's difficult, isn't it? And your instinct, your instincts kick in, and you forget suddenly that there's a two-foot drift in that rear corner. Yeah, exactly. And you just kind of go with what you would naturally play, but it's the the players and the pairs that make the adaptation adaptations to the conditions in here the quickest and the best are the ones that are sneaking these close games. It can quite often come down to a couple of errors, a couple of centimetres here and there. So this is going to be a really interesting matchup. Well, our umpire is Kamasha Robertson Martins from Belgium. Ladies and gentlemen, as if on, on cue. my right, Chen Tangje and Ta Iwe, Malaysia. And on my left, Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino, Japan. Got some fans in the crowd, some Japanese fans in the crowd. Yeah, the crowd here starting to build as we move into the early afternoon. pace of this game, the pace that's going to be set initially of this game is going to be incredible. I don't think we're, I mean, we're in, we're in medal stages and I don't think either of these pairs are going to sit back and see what happens. Well, I, I hope not as well. I mean, the conditions suit that aggressive game. We've seen two matches this morning on court two where Seo Sung Jae and Chae Yoo Jung were just a bit more aggressive, a bit more assertive try to hold the attack a bit better and that came through and um Deshapong Satsuri weren't up for it yeah and in the last match it was the aggressors that came through as well so that bodes well for that style but both of these pairs have that style both of these pairs are perfectly capable of that and the Japanese have gained an early lead here Oh. That's nice. How calm was he? Saw the open space, relied right. on his shot quality. Well. He's, um, he's only in second gear here, Watanabe. I'm sure a lot of players often feel like Watanabe is one shot ahead of them. Just with his vision of the court. Yeah. That's so nice. He can, he, he's so quick that he Six. can afford to sort of well. wait. Yeah. And then when it goes into the rear corner, he's bang, he's gone. Explodes oh. in there, yeah. yeah. Six love, that's where you want to be in a quarterfinal of a world champs. Big hits. No! <laughs> he does hit oh, hard, Chen Tanji. Finding a little gap and causing a little bit of confusion, but. Look how high he is off the floor. Oosh. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. That's well played from Toby Way as well. Yeah. Closing down that net. Malaysians off the mark. No. Service over. Seven one. Eight. 
Eight, one. Good defense from Watanabe. Service That's over. a nice return. Two, eight. It rolls over this net court here. I mean, all but unreturnable. What about the power in that backhand as well? He was stretched late, he was behind him, and still manages the cross court almost clear. Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant from the Japanese. Such good use of the court. And just for Chen to have the oh, Chen to have the confidence to lift cross court. Typically, you would want to, the man would want to lift straight, so that the attacks on him. Opponent opposite man would yeah, the attack is on him. But yeah. to have the confidence to lift cross and your in your partner's ability to defend. Nice, just just misplaced that. Service over on the back line. Three nine. I've never quite understood how Watanabe can play a he's a left hander, a little forehand push. And then the shuttle's flat into his rear corner behind him. He's there. Round the head. And then to have the vision to choose where the space is. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just, it's unbelievable. Go! Oh, that's a good hit. Four, nine. Good midcourt coverage. Up. Oh, yeah. Higashino left stranded, the flick serve, great quality. Five, nine. A little bit of recovery here from being so far down. I think that's what's good. That's one thing I like about our. Oh, little false. Too high. That's one thing I really like about our 21 point scoring system is that even if you are down a little bit, you have the time and space to come back and make that recovery. Eric De Roche of uh, Canada, Hui. our service judge, got called service into action in that previous point. Six, ten. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not sure if you're old enough, Kirsty, but when we used to play, you score on your serve. Yeah, I, I unfortunately am old enough. <laughs> It, it made for a very different game of badminton, didn't it? Absolutely, yeah. And I think... Go! Nice, that's big in the midcourt. Really taking advantage ten. of that little looseness to Watanabe's shot and punished it on Higashino. Um, definitely, I think it's... Um, you can see the physicality and the kind of tactics change if and when the scoring system changes. We see the length of the games that we get now up yeah. to 21. Well, there's one thing for me that could change things, and this is just my own personal Service opinion, over. but I think 11-7 at the break, four points, Watanabe and Higashino oh. off to a terrific start. What I'd like to see right now is a change of ends. You sure. I'd like to see them change ends at every game. Still best of three, mm. but change ends at game one, game two, and I think you'll cut out a lot of players who are winging it they're on the better end of the court against a, a, a better opponent but they manage to scrape through and it goes to three and then the better player eventually wins on the best side yeah in a third i think if there's a change of ends you'll cut that out and the better player will come through in two games yeah i think there's a lot to be said for like momentum management and would that throw another challenge into the mix i mean the players are already um competing against so much but when you are the the player with the momentum, or the pair with the momentum, play. That would that would add in an extra challenge. If this was an 11-point scoring system, we would be resetting at Love All now. So mentally, what are the Malaysians going to do to make up this 12, now five-point deficit? Yeah. Whereas if it was Love All now, it would be a totally different um, mental game and mental approach to it. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Yeah, it is flying a little bit faster, 13, as we've said before, seven. from where the Malaysians are hitting with the wind. And they have struggled on that back line so far. Made a couple of errors there. Pikachino oh. trying to Service intercept. Over. Eight, 13.
service over. 48. Just take a Shino's presence at the net. It makes for such tight exchanges. You have to get it perfect or it's more than likely going to be put on the floor. Nice touch. That's a nice cross. And score. again. And again. Out the side, oh! potentially. Oh. Service over. Nine. Fourteen. His footwork and speed is just second to none, isn't it? Watanabe. I mean this in absolutely no disrespectful way at all, but he is a very petite man. Yeah. For his for his court coverage to be this good, it requires so much power and such like good technique on Broke footwork. The string. Watanabe's gonna do well to survive this. This string must have gone. Yeah. He's playing these soft He's drops and clears. And this is... Higashino's to to... going to have to pick up the pieces. Is he going to run off for a racket? I don't think so. I think they're going to wait it out. But to, again, to have the confidence in... Oh, he was tempted. Oh, he... He's still ah. tempted. Come on, Higashino. On your own, you can do it. Two-foot jumps, man. Oh, hey. <laughs> and here we go. 10-14. That's the thing against Chen and Toe. They're so attacking when they get the chance that typically you would just put in that big high lift and uh, run off, change a racket. But a big high lift in here is, is going to be punished by one of them. Leaving, your, leaving Higashino high and dry. I think that was the correct decision to stay on the court there. Ever managed to change a racket during a singles rally? Not personally, but I know Victor gave it a go. Um, I think it was against uh, Ruxel from France, 15, I think. Um, I think he, he stayed in the rally for a couple of shots, but I don't think he won it. At least in doubles, you've got a partner to try and pick up the pieces. Exactly, yeah. I've never managed it personally. Good hit. Just down the middle, making 16, it a little bit awkward. 10. Just that spring into it. Oh, that's nice. That's... Oh! That's that was going wide, surely. Well out. Service over. 11-16. This is that little bit of spatial awareness that the the drift kind of... Oh, just a miss hit. Took the frame. It just messes with your spatial awareness. This is such a vast arena. It's a really big space in here. It's hard to kind of know where you are in relation to your surroundings. Oh, wonderful. And that drift just helped take that further and further away from Chen. I don't know if it's a regular feature of Watanabe's game, but he's had a really good success so far in this set of going with those cross courts. I don't know if it's because Chen particularly covers those straight lines. Oh, oh that's nice. That is lovely. I, yeah, I wanted to say, oh, I was going to ask you later, but he, used, he seems to be going cross a lot from yeah. lots of different positions. Yeah, that's so well placed. It's just those little holds keeps it straight, and then when the opportunity to go cross is there, he almost did oh, well it covered. early. What about that court coverage? The Ooh. communication there between the two Japanese. Yeah. Surely, yes. And again, these cross-court shots put such a high reliance and uh, trust 19, on Higashino's ability 11. to cover it. So her physicality really comes into play here. And here, she intercepts and he gets back. Yeah. From the left box all the way to the forehand near corner. There's just that understanding that she is she doesn't, uh, she's not a very passive net player. She is proactive. The Japanese really running away with this. Like I say, the Malaysians really struggling with that control in their, when they get the attack, not quite as clinical as the Japanese. And just a few more gaps in their court that Watanabe and Higashino are managing to find. Nine game points, and it's all over on yep. the first time of asking. Game one in the bag. First 
for the number two seeds, Watanabe and Higashino. Looking unstoppable. Solid start and a solid middle, uh, solid end. Sorry, I feel it in the middle. The Malaysians maybe came into it a little bit more, but it was all about the Japanese pair when it mattered. Game one, 21 11. Second game, love all, play. Second game gets underway then, Arisa Higashino on serve. The Japanese, so strong in that first. It might be my favorite shot in the sport, is Yuta Watanabe, stop drop. Oh yeah. Especially when you're just in that mid-court position, it's just that open of the shoulder and then that break of the wrist to bring it down before the service line. Didn't even um, get off the floor much then, didn't have time to, and he still pulled it off. Yeah. So this change of ends, Kirsty, do you think it can help the Malaysians? I mean, possibly, but the style they've been Two. playing so far, Whoa. they've not really managed to find many gaps. They're big hitters, but I think the court coverage and just the solid defense of Watanabe and Higashino is possibly too much for them. I'm not sure what style they'll have to... Oh, uncharacteristic tentative leave there from Watanabe. But yeah, I'm not sure what kind of style the Malaysian pair will have to try and find here. Is it to go more onto the attack? Look at that drift. Service Is it to actually come off the pace three, and play the play one. the spaces? But I don't think the Japanese pair will allow for that drop in intensity no. and that drop in pace. So I think Toei Wei is going to have to have the game of her life like this and then allow her partner to sort of push flat into the rear corners, maybe. Yeah. Into the drift. That's such good coverage. But with Watanabe so fast covering. You just uh, can't find an opening, can you? He was all over the court there. Four, one. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take something pretty special to drag Watanabe and Higashino out of their perfect setup position because they're just in it so often, and it, when quality comes off of Watanabe's Five, racket like that. One. Just make it look so easy. Yes. They look outclassed and they outmatched here at, yeah. this, at this stage. Turn a serve net cord 
help set up the rest of the rally here. Two, six. Both the Japanese. Yeah, get that out of position. There. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to get punished. Toes right to try and hold the net, but not when Watanabe is leaping at you. And you often see a mixed doubles, especially the man, will just push that off into service line a bit more and track back to allow his partners to come in. But he was just all about, I'm going to win this rally from here, from yeah. the net. And it's just that confidence he has in his partner to, to cover the rest of the court. It's such an asset of theirs. Just there, there's almost Nine, no space to two. find. There's actually no space to find for the Malaysians. Well, he's slightly perplexed, I think, at this moment. The Malaysian coach, and again, yeah. terrific length. It's that perfect trajectory. It doesn't two. allow for Chen to, to jump, and it doesn't allow for an interception as well, or either, should I say. I love the way that the Japanese pair set up to receive serve. Higashino is just, they're just level doubles set up. Yeah. Normally the woman would be side by side with the man on that tee. Yes. So that he can press, she covers and he comes round behind, but she's just behind him, ready to cover that back court. I love it. Can you believe it's halfway through the second it's been and we're at 19 minutes? Fast and furious, contrary to the ladies' doubles that we just saw. We um, see single games go over half an hour at yeah. the time. We did in that last match. Yeah. 11 3, Watanabe, Higashino. Just uh, owning things right now. Court 2, 20 seconds. Court 2, 20 seconds. Eleven three. Play. Yeah, I'm very interested to see what uh, what the Malaysians' answer to this will be because they have they will have to change something. What they've been doing so far has not been working. But when you you're up against shots like that, my goodness. Well, three. This was special. Look at that. A little reverse. Backhand drive. Reverse up the line, backhand drive. We call the forehand one a magic ball. I'm not, I'm not sure why. Oh. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. No, oh, not sure. There's no... Uh, that one's not in the textbook, is it? No, nope, we don't have a name for that one. <laughs> but again, it's just that Watanabe seems like he just has more time than everyone else to have the clarity of thought, to see that come in. Hold it, push it, <laughs> using the wind to his advantage. He left it, the serve, he'd left it to fall in and then decided at the last second to play that deceptive shot of the line. <laughs> right, that's what <laughs> they're going to need to do a lot more of, and I want to see them get to that level of confidence. Yeah. Good backhand, took it early. Really stepping into that, no, no hesitation about it. That's gonna drift sideways. Yep. Got to be careful up that far right line. Maybe Watanabe's like um, the guy from X Men who, like, he goes super speed and everything else, like, slows down around him. I think you're right. I think that can only be what's going on here he just he goes up to jump and that shuttle slows down and he can kind of stop and be like take a quick look see go. where everybody is and bang it cross court yeah. <laughs> oh he's at it again it's those little holds you never know if he's gonna do the hold or if he's just gonna go straight full commitment into it and it makes getting your rhythm as the defender or as the opponent 
very difficult. Higashino working so hard as well. I mean, yeah. she's in the rear court for so long. Oh, yeah, that's good luck from the Malaysians. <laughs> yeah, heard Higashino's legs then just collapsed on the floor because <laughs> yeah. she'd done so much hard work to get back in the rally. The Malaysians will take take what they can get right at this minute. Any point is a a bonus. She covered that so well. She was she was on that shuttle. Nice touch from Toei Wei. Yeah. Just pure Are instincts. You to the point, please? Arisa? 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 <laughs> you okay? I'm sure she's okay. Yeah. Usually has a smile on her face. Play. Arisa. You do get that sense when there's just like a good partnership and they just like trust and respect each other so much and you can really feel that they enjoy it. Seven, 15. I think you can feel that with both these pairs. When, when the Malaysians fight yes. their flow and when they're on it and in their rhythm, they're, they're clearly enjoying things. But I mean, when you're up against, oh, that's good net play. Took that early. Really struggling with that side drift on that far right line. We've seen it on all the matches this week, really. Yeah, same on court one. Yeah, everyone's fallen victim to it at one point or another. Yeah, I think that one's found the line. But you're right about the partnerships. Um, I was in Singapore, I think, commentating on their semi final. Chen and To made it. And they just seem to they back each other up. They, yeah. they, you know, they look like they die for each other. They look like they're always going to be there when the other's not. You know. Yeah, I think you can like it. Oh, that's nice. I think you can infer that from like Nine, their matching haircuts and just like their their energy is the same. I hear that the the haircuts and hair color is themed to where they are geographically. Okay. So Scandinavia, I think we're going a bit icy, a bit cool climate. Whereas for what a save, Higashino. What a rally. I think for some of the Ten, tournaments 16. earlier in the year in Asia, I think they, they went for an orange. Asian Games, I think they maybe went for they an orange. They did. They did go orange. I, yeah. I remember this, this sort of um, pale, almost grayish white kind of thing. Yeah. A few months back in Asia, so I'm not sure where okay. they were then, but. Maybe they just changed it with the uh, the tour moving. Yeah. Oi. Too strong in the midcourt. Well, wow. Japan fans in for Watanabe and Higashino. Enjoying the control that Japan have maintained over this match. Good return of serve. Igashino oh, stays alive. Nice. It's too easy though in the end. Service over. 11, it's a, it is a very 17. tough ask, but Toe has to be getting those shots below net, below the net tape on the other side, tipping it over to allow Chen to wind up and put his power on it. Because he certainly has it. Yeah. Changing the racket head at the last second, deceptive. 18, 11. And again, that quality and control. Makes it look so easy. Yeah, that hole, the hole. That open up. Yeah. That left hand. 19, 11. It long. It's simple, isn't it? Nice, 20, strong backhand drive. Point, yeah. It's almost like a spring. The harder you hit it, the harder it's going to come back. Well, and to get that control is difficult. Nine match points. 27 minutes. It's unbelievable. That's, yeah. Oh, I've done First it. time of asking. What a performance. If they can keep this going, wow. That is. Almost, I'd say, top level from Higashino and Watanabe there. That was yeah. really, really impressive.
pretty much the perfect performance, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't think they really dipped there at all in terms of concentration, in terms of performance, execution. Winning points. Oh, that's an early straight smash. smash. In the tram lines. Match Too much, Toei Wai. See you later. <laughs> 21-11, Terrific performance, and their opponents today, Chen Tangji, Toei Wei, just couldn't keep up with this level. A fully deserved win for Watanabe and Higashino. Straight games, 21-11, 21-11, uh, it's just ticked over to 28 minutes. Fantastic. Well, it's going to be all guns blazing in our next match. We're back to women's doubles. Possibly the best women's doubles pair in history. Chen Ching Chen, Jay Fan, world number one, three times world champions already. Looking for a number four up against Nami Matsuyama and Shiharu Shida of Japan in a few moments' time. Welcome back to our live coverage. Quarterfinals day here in beautiful Copenhagen, Denmark. The sun is shining. The badminton is thrilling. It could not be 